Hello dear ones, it's Alice. Yesterday, I ran across two people out in the desert, a man and a woman. And I noticed in them a quality that I haven't seen before. Uh, there was a certain sharpness there. It was like sunlight in the noonday sun glinting off shards of mica in a basalt rock, a sharpness. It was like a longing of the soul for to remember that it's not separate. It was like the hardness of of individuality and personality. It was a an intense pain there. And at first, uh, my heart tightened up with the the anguish of their of their soul expression. And then I remembered um, a talk by Muji about overcoming the world that I had listened to that morning. Muji talked about um, how in this world of of perception and sensation, we experience um, all kinds of energies. And, um, and it's good to just notice them and say, ah, oh, here's a flavor of energy. Here's a taste of energy. Different from the last one that I experienced. Like that. And just notice them and let them go, you know rather than to step into the feeling of someone else and say, oh my God, I wish I could change this or I wish I could help this suffering and this agony. It's better to say, here is a soul, a unique expression of the divine that has chosen to experience this energy at this moment. Like that. And and appreciate the diversity of, of, of energies that, that we sense here in the third dimension. I was overhearing on my way leaving today from this place, I was overhearing uh, two young military people talking. They had just gotten back from a tour of active duty, according to the lady downstairs, and so there was uh, like exhilaration, happiness. And uh, one was saying to the other, um, he was saying, what I love is that moment when people first sense that they are free. And I have to say, I love that moment too. I love that moment when I sense that I am free to notice everything without following along into the flow of that thing, but to be ready for the very next moment of awareness without thought, without consideration. Is that not true freedom? And on the other hand, when you think about it, can we fight for freedom, the freedom of other people? Can we fight for freedom and, and make, make them have that choice? Or would it be better to allow each culture to evolve in an organic way to express itself as a flowering of personal choice and freedom when the time is right? Is that not true freedom that we should decide ourselves, how our own nation should be. Whether we unconsciously surrender our power to those of our leadership, or whether we as a people decide that, that the power is ours and that our leaders represent us and faithfully carry out our wishes. This is, this is the evolution of the soul through the national culture. 
you know. Can we fight? Can we fight for peace? Can we truly fight for peace? Is that, is that a, a true thought? Or is that a mental filter? How can the resonance of, of aggression aid the resonance of peace? Wasn't Gandhi right when he, when he felt that simply being peaceful was the way to increase peace in the world? simply being that peace. And if we as a people were to be that freedom, we Americans were to be that freedom, that freedom of choice, that freedom from societal expectations, the freedom to express ourselves in our own lives and to follow our hearts, would that not be a shining light for the whole world? Everyone has their own ideas. That's freedom too.